Hello everyone, my name is Wilmer with Casas for Cristo, Guatemala. We are located in Cerro La Granadilla. This is a village uh, of San Raimundo. So this is the Concoa family. This is the family that you, that you are going to build a house for. So we are going to meet the family. We are going to see where the house is going to be built and the house that they are currently living right now. So let's go and meet the family. This is the Concoa family. This is the beautiful family that you are going to build for. We have Pedro, he's Pedro, the dad of the house. And then we have Maria, she's the mom. And we have Pablo Jose, and we have Marco Antonio. We have Carlos Armando. He can say hi because he's, hold, he's holding the baby. <laughs> and we have Maria Stephanie. And we have Monica Angelica. And then we have the little one, Jennifer. We have been living here in this house for eight years and we have been married for 17 years. What we do to get an income or what we do for a living is I'm a farmer and also my kids they go outside with me and they help me when I have to work and my wife she stays at home. Pues la mala verdad nosotros nos sentimos feliz cuando si, si vienen a esa casa nueva. Our life is going to change because uh, we are going to live different and we are going to have a better house and our life is going to change and we are going to be great. Good afternoon everybody, my name is Clemente Cuimes. I'm the pastor of the church that's located in Llano and the name of my church is Oral Sin Cesar, that is uh, Pray Without Ceasing. And I've been the pastor for that church for 11 years. So it's been a blessing being the pastor, but for me it's more a blessing helping people and serving people. In our church, it allows God to be the leader of the El cuerpo oficial y pues acá en Cerro Granadilla tenemos una iglesia. I met this family because I'm the leader of the church, so I have the opportunity to go and visit churches around. And we have a church in this area, so I came to visit the church and also I visited this family and I found out that they needed help and so they were attending the church and then I came to visit the family again and I saw that they really need a house, so that's why I choose this family to build a house for them. Los resultados que yo espero después de construir la casa es de que ellos puedan siempre seguir hacia adelante. My hope for this family is that they can serve God because they are getting a gift and this is a house that is coming from God. My hope is that they can serve God at church and they can help other, some other people here around this village. And that's my hope that I have for this. This is the hope that I have for this family. <laughs>